Hey, I'm Rick Steves, back with more of the best of Bellingham and Whatcom County. When I'm not in Europe, I live here in historic Washington state. Today, I'm at the northwesternmost corner of the continental United States, and it's marked by this, the majestic 100-year-old Peace Arch. It commemorates a treaty which settled a dispute between the U.S. and Britain. And because of that treaty, the U.S.-Canadian border is the longest friendly border anywhere. By the way, this 42-acre park is both a Canadian and a U.S. park, so visitors from either country don't need a passport. You just need to leave on the side you came in on. This top corner of Washington state feels incredibly removed, yet it's surprisingly accessible, whether by plane, train, or automobile. In fact, if you travel all the way up Interstate 5 to the Canadian border, you'll be right where I am, in Blaine, by the Sea and Peace Arch State Park. So we look at their children of a common mother, and we're standing in a beautiful state park, and I understand this is I think a one-of-a-kind situation. It's a state park and a Canadian provincial park. You got to leave, of course, the way you came right. without a passport, but we can all get together right here. Yeah, it's one of the few places in the world where that is possible. And, and the monument itself is one of the few monuments in the world that's on the National Historic Registry of two countries, not just one, because one leg is in the U.S. and one leg is in Canada. I just love that. It's really an inspiring symbol that I think many countries around the world can look at. You know, if you can collaborate and have that peaceful yeah. relationship, yeah. Then, then everybody benefits from that. There's a, kind of an anomaly just across Boundary Bay over there, Point Roberts. When you look at the map, there's just a little tiny chunk of the United States of America connected to Canada. How did that happen? Point Roberts is, I like to call it a geographical oddity. It's, it's an exclave of the United States. So in the Oregon Treaty back in the 1800s, which expanded the international boundary between Canada and the U.S. from the Rockies all the way out to the Pacific Ocean, it followed the 49th degree okay. parallel. So you don't mess with the 49th degree and there was a little tip and that- And there was a little <laughs> tip, yes. Blaine sits on Drayton Harbor and around the loop is Semiamu Spit with some of the best birding in the region and a stunning resort and golf course on an original cannery site. These charming small seaside communities like Birch Bay, Point Roberts, and Blaine are great for families, featuring bayside amenities, piers, parks, and tidal flats. Sail up in your own boat, there's always room at the harbor. Andy, thanks for joining us. You're welcome, thank you for being in Blaine today. So you're the harbor master of this beautiful marina? Yeah, 630 slips. Whoa, that's a lot of boats. Yes, that's a lot of boats. If you had a guest coming to Whatcom County, what would you be sure they'd check out? The beaches. Absolute beaches. wonderful mm-hmm. beaches in this area. Okay. Untouched. Nice. What kind of seafood are you able to in- find and enjoy and catch here? Well, we've got the Drayton Harbor Oyster Company uptown, which has wonderful oysters grown right here in the bay. Okay. Nice thing about that is you know it's fresh. If they're Absolutely. Right, here. right. It's minutes, literally minutes from the, from the oyster beds to the restaurant. After speaking with Andy, we headed out to an unforgettably scenic working shellfish farm for a taste of the freshest oysters I've had in a long time. Talk about farm to mouth, we were right there. While slurping a dozen or so oysters, this charming crew from Blaine's Drayton Harbor Oyster Company told me their record for getting oysters from this picturesque farm surrounded by wild eel grass to a table in their Blaine restaurant, under 13 minutes but don't tell Harbor Master Andy. Moments like this, out on the Salish Sea, looking east to Mount Baker as it looms over both alpine forests and a rich agricultural plain, north to Canada and west to quirky Point Roberts, you can feel and taste how this corner of Washington is so worth experiencing. Thanks for joining me on our journey to the top of Washington State. This picturesque, extreme northwest corner of the U.S. has it all. Think of it, history, natural beauty, and some of the best oysters I've had anywhere. Happy travels.